Hi, I'm Daisy Reed, and on this week's Let's Girl show, I'm joined by my lucky Millie Hobbs and Flora Moranga for another episode of The Group Chat. You may already know Fabiana Christine for her street star looks and trend led reels on IG. She is here with her favourite new pics from Zara. Plus, from the hack to getting your perfect lip shade to that new Maybelline mascara, new Lux Girl Satna is recreating free viral TikTok beauty trends for you to try at home. Finally, Amrit is here with the first in our new Money Diaries series. Tune in to see what she spends in a day. But first, we're back answering your burning questions. I don't want to go to uni, but my parents want me to. What shall I do? This is a tricky one. You don't need to go to uni. That's it. Right. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I feel no. like you have to do what's right for you, and your parents will always want you to be happy. So, surely, if they're making you do something you don't necessarily want to do, you're not going to be happy at the end of the day. Yeah. So, I think you, it's a difficult conversation to have, but they just need to understand that you need to have your own path. Yeah. And your happiness is more important than. Definitely. And I think if you've got a plan, tell them your plan. Yeah. Write it down, pitch it to them. Sit and be them like, down, talk You don't them want through. me to go to uni, but this is what I want to do. Yeah. And, you know, make them feel them. confident yeah, exactly. in your plan. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't have to go to uni, and it often feels yeah. like you do because all of your friends might. Yeah. But yeah. there's no, sake, no point just going for the sake of going. Yeah. No. Exactly. No, you won't apply yeah. yourself and get nothing out of it. Yeah. yeah. Have you tried a period cup? Sorry, gross. Mm, no. No, I no. haven't. I haven't tried one. I don't think you need to say sorry gross. They are like an alternative yeah. sanitary product. But I personally haven't stepped in the line and tried one, no. I've got to get my head around yeah. the sanitization of it and yeah. keeping it clean. Just sounds messy. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's obviously a product for a reason. People out yeah. there are using oh, for it. Sure. I have girlfriends that use it and they rave about it and say to me, it's actually more hygienic, oh, it's better yeah. for your body because you're not, because you're just well, it's just collecting it, and basically. then you wash it down the sink, whereas you're putting something foreign into your body with fibres yeah. on it that releases yeah. into the system. I don't think it's, system. It's, the, it's the product itself that it's freaks the, me out. It's the process yeah. of yeah. Like taking it out and then cleaning yeah. it. And yeah, because I'm you, I don't even clean my contacts really. I'm so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you write, can be trusted. I have to with write it down to remember. <laughs> So first up, I decided to pick up this white cream tone sweater and I really liked it. It was quite heavyweight for Zara. And then I picked out these mom jeans and they looked really good, I think, with the sweater. It just looked quite coherent. And I typically like doing this where I just pick out the most basic outfit to start with, especially if I'm trying on things like coats because I don't actually want to change out of this outfit all the time. I just want to add coats and try them on. This has got to be one of my favourite pieces that I saw. This is the oversized quilted jacket which sells out almost every time. Such a dupe for the Frankie Shop one. And I ended up selecting this toffee colour. Now I will say I got it in a size small. Usually I wear it extra small so it is a little bit on the more oversized side and I could do with sizing down one. But I absolutely loved it in this toffee colour. It's such a perfect shade for the springtime. I usually steer right away from leopard print but this skirt was just so nice and something different to what I usually wear. I did go with this shirt which was like this white shirt. I think it would look better with like anything which is sort of like made to be an open shirt. I think because this has buttons and those big pockets at the front it's a little bit distracting. These knee high boots definitely remind me of the Paris Texas heeled boots. I honestly absolutely loved it. The heel was not too high, so it was super comfortable to walk in. And again, outside of my comfort zone because usually I don't go for knee high boots. And then I picked out this coat to go with it and I think this matches quite well with the boots. So I thought it just brought the whole outfit together. I think if expensive on a budget could have an outfit, it would be this one. It's very luxurious looking because it's got this satin material to it and the designs are just super unique and I've had so many people already ask me about this one. Definitely hope it doesn't sell out soon. I did choose to tuck mine in to make it look more like a jumpsuit set, but you can obviously untuck this, unbutton a little bit and make it a little bit more casual. I am an absolute sucker for cobalt blue, even though I really like my neutral outfits, this is one of the colours that I just love to wear. 
and this is head to toe cobalt blue this is actually a bustier top and the trousers and the heels um rather than it being a jumpsuit i don't think you can go wrong with going head to toe in one single color i just think it looks very effortless and it's an easy way to wear it this blazer as well i absolutely loved i'm also a sucker for double breasted blazers this one is in a size medium so really nice to put over the shoulders and then these are the chunky heels now it wasn't my favorite to walk in but it does go with the outfit to say the least <laughs> I always love to try on longer coats when I go into stores and this one absolutely did not miss and with this black dress I just think the colour combo is really nice and again it just looks very effortless almost like you didn't spend any time on it and I did like the fact it had side slits on the sides which you can zip up I just love that because you have the option to do so and sometimes with the longer coats you feel like you're just going to trip over them at any moment. And that was my day at Zara. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did and found some new favourite pieces. My one for sure has got to be the quilted jacket, which I'm 100% going back to get. Okay, need some new dinner inspo and I'm obsessed with pasta. What's the best pasta dish you make, King? Okay. Oh, I have one. Go on. Yeah. It's from Mary Berry's new cookbook. Oh. Shout out Mary Berry's new cookbook. Really what it's called. <laughs> Love to cook. Yes. <laughs> so it's good. from Mary Berry's new cookbook and it is her carbonara. You can make it in literally oh. 15 minutes. It's unreal. Tastes amazing. Delicious. It's oh. delicious. I must I, say, carbonara isn't my favourite. Oh, really? Not? Yeah, not a creamy pasta kind of girl. Well, if you make it like the traditional Dry. Italian way, then it's yeah. not yeah. creamy. Just it's more just cheesy and egg. Yeah. Creamy, yeah. yeah. And that's what this recipe is. Okay. So I think you, it could key, be I've got some key pasta cooking items, mm. ingredients. One being truffle oil, oh, yeah. oh, just anything truffle yes. I think is delicious. But also, I can't really eat dairy and I use mm. the Oatly single cream. Oh, no. Oh, nice. It's much that. better for yeah. you. It's mm. so cheap, it's about 60 pence. And I literally just keep a carton in the, nice. in the fridge and just drizzle it in everything. Curries, mm. risottos, nice. pastas. Or oh, coconut milk is nice. Yes, yeah. 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 I must say, you have to follow. Her name's the Pasta Queen on Instagram. She is this like fabulous Italian woman who makes like really simple at home, like pasta yeah. recipe, like authentic mm -hmm. Italian, oh, fresh, nice. uh, super easy, super quick, but they just look like, you know, almost like, like nona makes, yeah. like just so good. Um, and she's just got like the simple like Pomodoro basil tomato oh, pasta. Nice. That's one of my favorites. It's my go, if I, yeah. if I get in fresh. and it's late, I'm hungry. Yeah. Right, it's like <laughs> garlic, olive oil, yeah. like, Tin tomatoes, fresh basil, Yummy. fresh pasta. Nice. Can't go wrong. Hi everyone, it's Sapna here and I am Trilux's new junior fashion beauty writer and today we are going to be reviewing some viral TikTok beauty products. So we've got three products and a hack. Let's try them out. So I've taken off my makeup and just put foundation back on and just some concealer. I'm feeling very flat right now, so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this first product, which is the KBD Liquid Gel Contour. The idea behind this is basically, and like what is in all the videos, is that it's meant to be really easy to blend out and it just, it's meant to be like a really good contour. The packaging is lovely. It's a good amount of product in there. It's got a really nice applicator. Let's just, oh my god, I'm scared. Okay, let's just do it. Ooh, okay, also this lighting is definitely giving me some serious eye bags. Oh, okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but it's like super, like water-based. So it's blending actually really nicely. Wow, like literally in a swipe that blended. I really like that. Okay, let me try on the other side now, just so that it's equal. Oh. Okay, really like that. I've just put a little bit of blush just so that it sort of looks a bit more put together. But you can still really see that contour. I definitely rate that. I definitely think that was worth the hype. This is the... Oh, <laughs> I was reading it in like the French version. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. It's quite a short one, but it's thick, just to show you like comparison to my eye. Let's do it on this side. Oh. Sorry, actually, before we do anything else, with just that one or maybe like one and a half 
like the difference in my lashes or like can you see that look at the side profile of that <laughs> wait that's crazy okay so i've now done the lashes on both sides and i'm genuinely like amazed at this like this is so good so for our last product before we do a hack don't worry it's not quite done yet um we're going to try wonder skin's lip products you basically apply it to your lips and then peel it off and it leaves behind like a really cool um stain and sort of tint to your lip this is what it looks like and this is the shade whimsical oh my god okay it's giving euphoria it's giving alien cheek i don't really know you meant to then spray it <laughs> peel peel and reveal okay oh oh my god this is the color that has been left and that is amazing i am really shocked by that 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 actually worked and it's literally just like it doesn't there's no nothing it's just like tinted but i want to try another color this is the color romance oh wow oh it is different so this is a lot more pinky trying to give you like all the lighting and the angles but wow i really like that the idea behind this hack is basically finding your perfect lip shade or lip combo so you're gonna start with your eyebrow pencil and then wanna go in with a cream blush product. So this one from Refi is really good. And then finally go over with a gloss. I'm gonna start by taking the brow pencil, just lining our lips, which I will admit, oh God, looks scary. Just trust the process. Interesting look. But this is what we've got so far. And then I'm gonna go in with my cream blush. And I'm gonna basically use that to kind of blend. So you can already see that's like really diffused. Just take it to the next level. And as part of the hack, you are meant to then go over with lip gloss. So, thanks so much for watching guys. That was honestly so fun. Um, all those products were genuinely really good. Definitely check them out. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Best mascara needs some recommendation. I have just got started using a brand new one. It's the Jones Road Mascara, which is Bobbi Brown's new brand. Cool. It's really good. I'm wearing it now. <laughs> It's great. Um, I actually put a question box on my Instagram a few weeks ago because I was looking for a new one. Mm. And I was using the Too Faced Better Than Sex for yes. ages, oh, which is yeah. so good. But I was like, oh, I want to try something else. And loads of people recommended the new Hourglass Caution. I think it's like new, like Caution um, in Ultra Black. I'm wearing it now. <laughs> um, yeah, so good. Really good. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. You've got very long eyelashes yeah. anyway. I yeah. feel like it. But I also use like a lash enhancer uh, every like day. Like serum? Yeah, hair burst serum. Nice. Yeah. I love the Rimmel Exaggerate Mascara. Mm. Very inexpensive. Yeah. I'm wearing it now. But <laughs> <We're all> like, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you know. But it's amazing. Danes, what's your mascara? Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, is it pillow talk? Yes. Yeah. That was like, the second most yeah. suggested. But otherwise, I'd say Too Faced. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Me and my girls want to do an affordable city break this year. Have you been anywhere good? Mm. City break. Um, me uh, and my best friend did Barcelona. Oh, yes, I went to Barcelona last year. So and it was good. we did like three nights in this like really cute boutique hotel, like not expensive. And we just did like late night tapas, yeah. beach days to check our towels. Yeah. Like wasn't expensive. Yeah. Nice. Just like city beach. Yeah. Barcelona. I think it's such a good balance. And you can get flights for less than hundred quid. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And the Airbnbs you can get yeah. as well. So yeah. good. Yeah, two nights, three days, or three nights, amazing. Yeah. To go like early spring is really nice yeah. as well. 
won me that and before. my girlfriends, we booked like a ten man Airbnb. It was oh, so nice. so cheap, and yeah. it was the most insane sort of. It was like an apartment, yeah. but slept loads of us. And we went for three nights in yeah Prague, and there's that amazing nightclub that has like four stories oh, there. Yeah. There's so so much to do. Um, yeah. yeah, I would go back to Prague. I love Amsterdam. Yes, yes. it's oh, less yes. than an hour on the plane. Yeah. It's really yeah. quick. Yeah. All and Eurostar now. All Eurostar, oh, but it's not, it's not really. As, well, I suppose if like you're traveling through the airport, but Amsterdam, our fly, yeah, it's amazing. Hi, I'm Amrit, and this is my Money Diaries. It's a Saturday. I woke up quite late, so I decided to skip breakfast and go straight to Gales and buy a hot chocolate and a cinnamon roll for an afternoon snack. I then decided to head to my local nail salon as my nails needed some serious help and I decided to go for a cute grey colour. I tend to get my nails done every two weeks. I then decided to hop onto the bus which was only 1.55, it's the cheapest way for me to get to places and I decided to go to Boots to get a few bits that I'd run out of. Here is my nail colour as I forgot to show you earlier. I decided to pick up some face masks for a pamper evening and some new beauty blenders as I was in a serious need to buy some new ones and of course cotton pads. And Amazon Fresh has just opened near me so I wanted to check it out and get some dinner for tonight which is creamy mushroom pasta. This was super quick and easy and only came to under £10. These are the bits I bought and for some reason I was really craving Solera ice creams. In the evening I decided to do a bit of online shopping, I headed to ASOS and found some jewellery bits that I really liked and some super cute sunnies. This only came down to £32. And this is what I spent in a day, see you next time! What are your favourite trainers right now? I just live in an Air Force one. Yeah, can't beat yeah. it. Great How do you classic. keep them clean though? Because I just um, find I yeah. need to go through so many. I'll let you know. <laughs> do you have a dirty pair and a normal no, pair? No, I just have one pair. Oh, you just do very... You just, yeah, just yeah. avoid the mud. You just don't go anywhere muddy. Yeah, <laughs> just avoid the puddles. I really want a pair of night waffles. Oh. Like, sort of, the beige colourway. I think I they'd think be I, really useful. I've got a pair of those. Clean the clean the waffle. <laughs> Are they waffle, waffle ones or something? Yeah, no, yeah, I you have. Those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really good. They're super versatile. I wear Are them they, normally yeah. for, like, gym active wear vibe, yeah. but then with like trouser, um, tailored trousers. Yeah, well, nice. So. Yeah, and yeah. also, I mean, quite controversial, but I do think they're really cool. The Nike Air Up Tempos. They're like the Jordans, but they say Air, the big bubbly ones. really big, ones. yeah. GT, congruent uh, wear yeah, 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 love those. I just feel so like, cool. I mean, you probably would not wear them the whole time, but they're just quite. Good staple. Yeah. A statement. Statement. Good statement, yeah. Uh, who is your dream dinner guest? Oh, this list. is a good one. Who is your dream dinner guest list? We'll be here forever. God, I don't know. Who is your dream dinner guest? Rihanna. Okay. <laughs> Great I one. would love her front row. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good one. I think Joanne McNally would be yeah. absolutely I'm balanced. a right girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does she not say it? <laughs> I think yes, she says it. She says it. That's, they both say it together, don't they? <laughs> oh, I thought Joanne and Vogue say it, and then Spencer takes the uh, mic out. Then. Right, with you. Go on, give us a job. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that would just be bounce. Yeah. yeah, I think you need humour. She's very funny. Yeah, you? Good. mine would be a bit rogue, but Elton John. No uh, way! What? Never in a million years would I have said <laughs> just you yeah, would say that. I think Elton John. Or fancy dress. I've got another one, Olivia Neal. Oh yeah, she would be fun. Yeah, it's yeah. just quite hectic. But fun. fancy dress with Elton. Yeah, for sure. And I hope that there'd be a piano in he the room could, as I was well. going to say, yeah. you're just yeah. hoping he'll so sit in the corner and play the piano yeah. all night. <laughs> <laughs> he's not working, he's your guest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on Elton, just one song. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this week's Lux Girl Show. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at LuxGirlOfficial underscore and we will see you again in two weeks time for another episode full of fashion, beauty and more chat. <laughs>